Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. Today we're standing in front of Steph's PVC gate. And if you remember, we did this about a month ago. But six since months then, ago. About six months ago. <laughs> but since then, well, I'll let Steph tell about it. <laughs> so no one ever used this area to come back into my yard um, the whole like year before we built this. And for some reason, there was just different reasons where workers and friends needed to come in this way. And unfortunately, they didn't realize that the fence opened in, the door opened in. Um, so they were trying to pull it out. And so it basically broke the side here and the, uh, the glue came off of the side pieces because it was kind of yanked a couple mm -hmm. too many times. Um, and so so today we are going to fix that and we're going to change the orientation to pull open because that's how people seem to naturally want to open it. So let's get started. To start, we took the screws off the hinges and popped the gate off. In the garage, we fully removed the hinges. We placed the gate on the workbench to get started and this is the moment we discovered we had another issue we needed to address. Because we never fully sealed the PVC connectors, water has apparently been collecting inside the pipes. So we used puppy pads to soak up the water and brought it outside to drain off the rest of the water. Back inside, we scraped off the glue that got disconnected, which was really easily done with a plastic razor blade. Then we pulled off this side and put the hinges back in place, and we added a third hinge, which we had purchased a while ago but never actually used. We went back outside to make sure the placement was right, as this time we're going to have the gate open instead of in. Next, we started to glue the top and bottom panel back to the frame. We're using heavy duty construction adhesive. We've used this in a number of projects and it's always worked well for us. We clamped this as it dried. We put the hinge piece back in place and glued the panel to the frame. We're using our favorite battery powered caulk gun, which makes quick work of these kind of projects. After 24 hours, I removed the clamps and positioned the gate on the floor. You can see the plastic mat we glued on top of easily popped right off. And to address the water issue, we're gonna drill a couple of drainage holes on the bottom of the gate. They won't be visible, but they will hopefully drain any excess water. Mom is using a screw to start a hole for me and I'm using our favorite PVC drill bits to drill a few holes. We use these bits to make our lightsaber headboard a few years ago and they've been our go-to bits for multiple materials since then. With that done, we took it back outside and just snapped the hinges into place and secured them with screws. In our original video, we filled this PVC with concrete inside, so here I'm using an impact driver to drive these screws into place. I used a drill driver previously and it was just stripping a screw, so the impact driver was definitely the tool for this job. And we're gonna swap out the top and middle screw here with thicker screws to hold it a little bit tighter. And lastly, we're gonna just screw the connectors on the back to the frame to give it a little extra stability. We could have glued the connectors originally with PVC glue, but we're ultimately glad we didn't do that so we were able to actually do these fixes that we're doing today. And to be super sure people are not going to break this gate again, we added some vinyl lettering to clearly tell people that you need to pull to open the gate. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. Bye. Bye. Bye, Matt. Your gate is back. You're happy. You're release the hound. Release the hound. Uh -oh.